what's up guys back again with another series this time we're going to teach you about java java is one of the most popular and growing programming languages on the web it is used in many devices including phones computers tablets and maybe even your toaster maybe anyway let's create your first java application i'm not going to explain it that much but this can be done quite easily but first we're going to need a few things uh we'll be needing first the java jdk which stands for the java Devel developer kit or development kit i forgot which one but and then we also need an IDE. An IDE is an integrated development environment, which is like an editor, basically like Notepad, but way, way, way more advanced. And it's usually tuned to work with that certain language to help you out. So it allows you to code with ease. You'll see. But anyway, let's go j download the JDK for Java. So I'll, we'll open up a browser here and type in Java JDK. So I'll download the 8, because that's what I'm using right now. Just Oh yeah, so you're gonna find the one that you want. Um, this one seems to be newer than this one, so whatever. I'll just choose this. Make sure you accept it, and then find the operating system for you. So I want a 64-bit operating system. So yep. So I'll download this, and I'll see when it's done downloading. All right, guys, it's done installing or downloading. So now we'll install it. So I'll just click next. Uh, let's see what this is. And just leave it how it is and yeah so let that install all right so now that's done so just click next and yeah so now it's a really good install I guess I wasn't doing that before but now it install so I'll be right back again okie dokie so now we are done with that so now we're gonna install something called the IntelliJ IDEA that's what it's called it's the IDE I told you about for Java so that's usually like the most popular one currently but anyway, I'll put the link in the description for both of these things. And so, yeah. Okay, so now that we're here, we're going to download it. So click download. And we're going to download the community version because the ultimate is free. I mean, it's free for like a month or something like that. And then you have to start paying for it. So I'm going to just download community, which is just fine for what we need right now. So let this download and I'll be right back. All right, it's done installing. So we'll just click yes here. Or downloading again, sorry. So now we'll install it. So click next. Uh... La la la. I already have this installed, so I'm going to install this one. You probably won't see this if this is your first time. Um, next. I'm going to delete these. Yeah. Alright, now it should be inst No, it's uninstalling from my old version. So, Alright, it's done installing, so we just got to close that. I mean uninstalling, so now we're going to install it. Uh, so click next um, for the location. Now I'm going to install the 64-bit launcher so we can use that. And then I'm going to create these associations and stuff. So uh, you don't need these two. This is the one that you usually really need. And then, yeah, so that should be it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so install that. And there we go. Okie dokie, we're done. So click uh, run and then we'll run this. Now we got a little startup. And yeah, I'll select that. And so now we can choose our UI theme. I'm going to go with um, a dark theme because I like it dark, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Ooh, look at that. It looks nice. Okie dokie. So we're not going to be using this, uh, this episode or probably... Uh, we'll use the next episode, but this episode we're just going to do the settings, basically. Okay, so we're going to create a new project, and then we got to set our SDK thingy here, so click New. And now we got to find it, so this is my C drive, and then I'm gonna, it might be usually in your program files. And then you got to find Java, and then you can find, uh, not that one, wrong one, so let's go regular program files, Java, and then here's our JD case. So I'm going to find the newest one with the highest number, uh, so here it is. I'm going to select that, and there we go. So now we have the Java 1.8 version, or Java 8, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's how we could, could uh, use that. So make sure you set that. And let's go next. And then click next again. And we'll do some test. And then it'll create the project. And that's how you do it every time you create a project. Make sure you set that JDK thing. So um, yeah, so we're done with that. Exit. So we're going to go to our desktop now. We're going to create a new folder, call it new 
folder, <laughs> our new folder, and then say we could do Java tutorial. This is where I'll have all my Java files. And we're going to create a new notepad file, a text document, new text document, and just name it whatever you want. We're going to open it. Now we're going to start coding in here. We're, I'm using this first of all, so I can show you how it works, how you would be able to code without a IDE. So let's start coding. So I'm going to type all this code out and then I'll explain it afterwards. So just follow along and type it with me. This here is our class, which will contain all our code. So that's a comment just to explain. Then we create a class here. Hi, Java. Then we'll have another comment. Program begins with a call to main. public static void main string args and then within that we could have some code uh, system oops can't type dot out dot print line hi oops Java. Okay, so there we go. That should be it. Let's close this here. And here's our code. It looks kind of weird, but that's our first Java code. So now we're going to save as. And then here we'll save it as Hi Java, which is the same class name as, I mean, say Hi Java dot Java. And then you notice that the name of the document is the same name as this class here. So that's common for you to do or developers to do. So now we have a Java document, which is awesome. That's what we need. So we'll delete this old one here. And then we could actually uh, close this for now. Okay, so there's one more thing we have to do. Um, we got to copy this, go into our, our place where we installed the JDK and then go to bin, then copy this here. And then uh, we'll go into system. Then we go to um, <clears throat> advanced system settings, environmental variables, and then you're going to create a new thing and call it Java Home, and then paste that in, and then remove the bin though. Get rid of that. So you're done with that one. So we'll get, click OK. And then we got to go to this other one, path, then find where it says, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Windows PowerShell. Let's click edit on that one. And then you're going to add, you're going to put, here, let me do it for you. Let me show you what to do. So it's going to look like this for you. What you're going to do is add a semicolon to the end and then paste that in. But you're not done yet. And then go to the JRE for the same version. And go to the bin and then copy that. Then add another semicolon and then paste that there. And then click OK. OK. And close that and close that. And then you're good. Then we go to PowerShell. And inside the PowerShell we can now compile our stuff. So what we have to do is compile the file first, right? So we'll do, uh, we actually have to go into the file. If you don't know how to do bash commands or command line commands, just look that up or something. It's pretty simple. Um, you don't even have to do this, but I advise you do it. Um, so you can learn how to run Java the the hard way, but the easy way. I don't know how to explain it, but anyway. <laughs> um, so we gotta go there and then we'll go to CD Java tutorials, the file that we made, then LS, and see we have our, you'll have um, just this one, the high Java. Um, hi Java dot Java you won't have this class file so to create this class file which we need we'll do Java C and then give it the name hi Java dot class oops hi Java dot class I mean Java dot Java because you don't have the class file yet then click enter and nothing should happen it'll just go right back to that so now you can run it you'll see it in there now you should see both if you do LS so now we do Java and then hi Java and that's it and now it'll print out your message that you made. So that's pretty cool. And so what this did when we ran the Java C command, it created a file called hijava.class and loaded it up with the bytecode of our program, which the computer can read in the Java uh, virtual machine, basically. So now we can run the program, which we did with Java Hi Java, and then it prints out what we said. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the code now. So we'll go back here to our file. 
and we'll open with our notepad. So let's see. So at the top of our program, we see a multi-line comment. This begins with this symbol here, the slash and then asterisk, and then ends with the same one, but they're reversed. If you look closely, they're reversed. So everything between these two symbols will be completely ignored by the Java compiler. These are only meant for you as the developer. They can help you remember stuff or designate certain areas of code, whatever you want, just little notes for yourself, basically. So next we see the class high Java. Everything is within classes, so this needs to run in the program. Um, so this is needed to run in the program, so you need a class, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But don't worry about this now because classes will be something covered in the future inside the object-oriented programming part of this tutorial. And then everything inside these little curly brackets here will be part of the class. It's like a block of code. That's what it's called. So the next thing is another type of comment. It's a single line comment. And everything behind these these double slashes here will be completely ignored on that line. It doesn't go further than that. So for our next block of code, we have the what's called the main method. It's, it's kind of complicated because this stuff will be learned later on. So every program needs it, its own uh, main method. Every program needs one to work. And this tells the program where to start. And then public, that's a access modifier that allows the code to be accessed outside, outside of the class, which is high Java. This is high Java the class. And this allows the code to be accessed outside of this little class here. So, and yeah, so static allows the main method, which is this, to work without um, installing or without instantiating an instance of the class. Yeah, that hardly makes sense to me either, but uh, yeah. So void uh, means the method will return nothing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the things inside the parentheses are called parameters here, um, which we'll learn about when we cover functions in Java, which is later on again. So for now, don't really worry about it. It's creating a, an array of the name args. This is an array called args, and it's made up of the string class. Confused? Me too. <laughs> anyway, I'm probably talking too fast, and you don't really have to worry about what all, what all this means yet, just the comments and the basics of it, basically. So here's the juicy part. I bet, as you noted, um, as you probably noticed, this bit of code here simply prints a message into the console, like we saw here. So it's a method that allows you to pass a string, which is the text that you put inside here. These are the parameters for this method, and a method is a function, by the way. So string equals text, if you don't know. So this is a string. So system is the class name of that this function slash method comes from, the print line, print line. It comes from the system class, and this is built into Java, basically. And functions and methods are the same thing, like I just said. So that's what that is. <clears throat> and the dot out is the output uh, stream that sends the string into the console. Confused? Yeah, me too. So all you need to do is remember that this code and remember this code, and then you'll be good to go. This little code here and how to make this is all you really need to go, uh, know. And then from now on, anything inside this main method will be your programs. So that's how you do that. So it's used a lot. So anyway, I hope you enjoy making your first program. Good job. We are now on the road to making some more coding um, or doing some more coding, which will get you on your way to becoming a Java developer. So I hope I didn't make that too confusing for you. Leave a comment if you need help or have any questions. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Peace.